What's up? You know, these old man glasses, I have to use them more and more and more and more. So they're just going to basically be on my face from now on because that's just the way it is. I mean, I can't see crap without them. Far away, I'm good, but, you know, ugh, I can't see shit. All right, how's everybody doing tonight? Steel City's in the house. Well, Steel City and Love and Chains. We're going to touch on both because Mike and Jason, uh, I don't know how they do it. They got so many projects. Between the two of them, they got so many projects, and it's wow. I don't know where they find the time. And a little thing about Steel City with me. I think it was 2020. It was right before uh, they were to play, uh, before everything got shut down, they were going to play a thing called Ballroom Blitz that BLE was going to put on. And everything got shut down. But right before Ballroom Blitz, uh, Dawn turns me on and says, you've got to listen to Steel City. You know, you got to listen to Steel City. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I listened to one song. I was like, eh, they're melodic rock. I really, at that point in time, I wasn't into melodic rock. It was more heavier bands and this and that, you know. So it was it was a little mm, different for me. So anyway, I put it on again. And this one, it wasn't third time's the charm. Sometimes it's third time's the charm. Like Eclipse, I had to play that. Uh, I think it was Monumentum. I had to play that three times before I got it. But Steel City got me within the second listen. And I was like, wow, this is different. It's really good. I dig it. I, I really, really, really dig it. And I was looking forward to seeing them. Obviously, that got canceled and postponed and all that crap. But I ended up getting, in, getting to see them up in Baltimore at one point, And it was just a fantastic show these guys are great roy kathy on vocals at that time i think they had bj zampa on drums they now i do believe i'm not going to say the name because i'm not absolutely sure but i'm pretty sure i'm absolutely sure on who the new drummer is at the stall on keyboards jason on uh bass the boston bass man and mike floros on lead guitar well, right now we're waiting on Mike Flores, but we do have the Boston bass man in the house, which this guy's never late. How the hell, like, I don't understand how he has time to do anything, but he had time to be here. So Jason Cornwell in the house. What's how, up? How are you? How's it going, Mike? How you been? How are you doing? Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. How was your holiday? Oh, it was great. I mean, well, we had, we had a fantastic time, kids here and everything. Um I was sick, unfortunately. I got sick on the 23rd, and Trace and I are still kind of recovering. Um, right. But, yeah, that kind of put a damper on things. But we still we had a blast regardless. How about yourself? Oh, it was just, you know, we're out of state. Family's all the way up there. So we just did our own thing. Kids are uh, actually moved out of the house, so they stopped over. And, you know, me and Carrie – found a way it was the first time we woke up and no kids here you know bugging us to get up out of bed so it was kind of <laughs> like we did our own thing we exchanged so it was kind of really cool you know yeah. we're kind of embracing this empty nester kind of thing that's cool so, it, it's really cool i mean the holidays you know you bake cookies you do all the things that oh yeah you in the spirit and you know it was like you know uh, from all the years you know the past couple of years we need good holidays and and need good family time and need good friends time and you know a lot of friends are family and it's just oh, you, you need to keep keep connected with each other because you just never know and you know just life keeps handing you bullshit and you know your friends and this and that they keep you there and they they keep you oh yeah exactly happy. yeah keep you happy keep you grounded you know yeah. help you and help you, you grow and you know it's amazing Right. And you and Tracy, you, you're just like world travelers. I, I live vicariously through you, too. I'm just saying, you guys are always somewhere. And I'm like, look at these two again. And it really sucks because my wife is like, look what Jason and Tracy are doing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, come on. Believe, believe it or not, it's kind of stressful because, I mean, even like, so we're booking a trip. It's kind of like, and we're, we're going to Orlando again for like the 80th time, but we love it there. <laughs> Right. Um, my grandmother had a house there for years, you know, God rest her soul. So I pretty much grew up there my, every, every vacation. So we still go there. And then my cousin, my first cousin's getting married right around that time. So we piggybacked it off that. So 
Um, and then we just added a show with one of my bands for the last day of that. Oh, so it's it, it gets stressful because we don't really ever do like a real true vacation. I don't think we've ever done it, um, at least for the past decade. It's always, you know, back to back with shows or something like that. Even like we go to Europe, I've got shows with, you know, with my uncle who's, a, you know, a musician and whatnot. So it's just kind of nonstop at some point, you know, it looks great, but we're always kind of running around trying to be somewhere, you know, right. if we never relax, you know? Right. And I'll be seeing you in LA. We're going to get to that. Yeah. So you great know, got got that. the show up in LA yeah. and, yeah. you know, I, I told the wife, I said, we're going to LA. You know, she's like, Mike, this is your trip. This is, yeah. you're going to be busy. I'm like, no, only one day, you know, I'm not yeah. going to do Nam. I'm not going to do all that. Yeah. I'm going to, you know, experience LA, you know, yeah. and, and check out some places and it, you know, and that's usually what happens with us. The same thing with you. It's okay. We go to M3. Yeah. We go to Baltimore, but we're at M3 or yeah. we go, you know, Monsters Rock Cruise looks great, like a great vacation. It's not, it's a lot of networking. It's a lot of, is it working? Oh, yes, you know, especially, yeah. Especially with you. I mean, you're, you get the radio show, you're always networking. You know, the two of you guys. So, yeah, on the cruise, it's really, really go, go, go like that. It's go, go, go. Yeah. And it, you know, you'd love it, but then you got to listen to the wife and then take that vacation in the, you know, um, where did we go? We went to, uh, oh, my God, Asheville. And oh, yeah. it was stayed in the cabin. And, you know, it was great. Just the two of us. We bebopped around this little town and found a little pond or a little river with a waterfall. And it was like really cool. And it's just That's awesome. little things. You got to you got to make time for them because they make time for you, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, that's actually what Trace is doing right now. She's rebooking um, our travel for Nam because we got to get there a day early because now Westbound is going to be involved in the Nashville, not Nashville, sorry. <laughs> I got Tennessee on my mind because you mentioned that. Um, right. Vegas, you know, the oh, Los wow. Music Awards, which is happening Sunday, the 21st. Of, oh, of damn. Yeah. So you're so, going to be out there the 21st, or probably the 20th, and then all the way till probably the 27th. Yeah, so we were supposed to fly in the 21st. We just moved it to the 20th, and we'll, we'll drive to Vegas and nice. myself and Chaz and Dave Marino will be nice. at the Vegas Music Awards. So, Very cool. yeah, we're going to be presenting some awards and whatnot and just, nice. you know, waving the westbound flag. Hell yeah, got to do it. I mean, there's so many. You're involved in a lot of bands. I mean, and we're waiting on Mike, so we'll, we'll talk about yeah. stuff. But oh, um, yeah. you, you've got a lot of stuff going on. And you're actually in two bands that are playing the whiskey on the 24th yeah which, hammer down hard and steel city yep you know and if you if uh what's his name from roxy blue misses the plane you can play with them i you yeah. just go up on stage <laughs> stay there and yeah. then we'll let you know when it's time to go and we're locking up well yeah i mean yes and then then, then the following night we've got a show too and right. um uh, that one actually i'm doing triple duties because uh, one of my good friends dallas perkins who was the original guitar player for rocks gang i'm going to be playing with oh, him nice. on that bill as well so we just added him on there and he, he's a great guy a great player so i'm wow. excited that he's kind of part of the fold now too i mean he's pretty legendary he he plays a lot he's got some endorsements with paul reed smith um he's done a lot of stuff i mean you know um he's from pennsylvania area originally i think pittsburgh so nice. he's he's near to near to the, the heart you know with steel city where you know Mike is only about grew up about thirty miles from there. My wife only grew right. up about fifty miles from there, and I grew up a hundred. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it turns out Mike Flores, you know, Dallas and Trace, they all lived in Tampa at the same time, and all part of the scene down there. So I mean, it's just it's just such a funny connection, right. and it, it's it's exciting to do that. And I love Rock's Gang. That is one of my absolute favorite bands. One of them. Oh, oh god yeah. that not a lot of people caught on to but once you did you didn't let them go i mean they were just oh kevin Steele. oh my god oh yeah actually funny thing funny story about kevin Steele was so i did a show with with dallas and our singer from love and chains too um up in upstate new york at bill DePaulo's place 
And so we were doing, you know, that song, Red Rose on Your Grave. Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of all worried. We're like, oh, geez, should, should we reach out to Kevin and let him know we're doing it? So sure enough, Dallas is like, what the heck? We're rehearsing right before the show. We're going over backup vocals. And he's like, let's reach out to him. So he reached out to, to Kevin and, and got his blessing. And then we put it as part of that, that show that we did. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's freaking awesome. I love, I love that. Oh, my God. Rocks Gang is just one of oh. Sorry, I uh, love them guys. Have that still on album, on vinyl. I mean, never give that up. Never. I mean, they really, I mean, I'm really surprised that they, you know, haven't reunited. I mean, they're just an amazing. Wow. They would be great on Monsters of Rock, honestly. Oh, my God. It'd yeah. Be great. Uh, dude, I mean, anywhere. I'd go see. That's one of them bands that if they did reunite, reunite and they were doing a show in St. Louis, on a Saturday night, I would yeah. find, oh, I that, I would get there. Just oh. yeah, Kevin Steele is legendary. I mean, yes, and just I mean, some of the videos were just amazing as well. You know, yes, and they, they filmed at this. I, I was talking to Dallas about it, and they, they filmed at the State Theater like a couple videos that were just you know in Tampa that were just amazing. Oh my God, love them. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh oh, boss is here. Okay, we gotta. I sit up straight. <laughs> Superman's in the house. Self-proclaimed uh -oh. Superman is in the house. <laughs> I wonder if he's got, he, he th he's talking. He thinks we can hear him. Nobody can hear you right now. I haven't added you to the <laughs> podcast yet, dude. You know? Oh, hey, one random question. So do you know if Bill Apollo's coming out? Yes, he's coming. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, yep. good. He'll be there. Bill right. Apollo, he'll be... Uh, I asked him if he wanted to introduce a couple bands. He's like, you know what? That's the nicest thing anybody's ever. Give me a break. That's not the nicest thing anybody's ever done for you. You're part of the Monsters of Rock Cruise. You're part of this. You got your own thing. And you're telling me that, that okay, if you believe that, that's cool. you know. But I just think he's a cool guy. I oh, yeah. had him on the Monsters of Rock Cruise. I love the guy. And I knew he was going to be at NAMM. So I just said, hey, you want to you wanna come on over and just help? introduce a couple bands i don't need to do the whole thing i mean love this guy so and he's all for it he's just like all right cool yeah bill's so cool in fact i was recording up at with hammer down hard um with, with brian we and you know bill's from that area his his venue he's got three venues up there um wow. so we invited him down to the studio so he came and hung out so that was really cool so yeah. well when when uh who was playing? Uh, Steel City was playing up there. Steel City played up there. Yeah, we played there a month before, yep. a month earlier, and then I was mm -hmm. back there recording with Brian Wheat with. Uh, oh, Hammer that's right. Got to get it done hard. And so uh, we had Bill come <sighs> out. We had a bunch I'm of exhausted people. just listening to how many bands you're in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mike, how do you find time to deal with this guy when he's like, you know, yeah, okay, and that's one of my questions. Okay, first of all, hi, Mike. Mike, what's up, fuckers? What's going doing? on? How you doing? Oh, I'm okay. Other than the fact that I can't find a cool place to, uh, I just got out of a, an eight hour long union meeting, which was a, ah. yeah, that was it. That was a treat. And I'll just leave it yeah. at that. But uh, <laughs> I, I was trying to find a, a, like a cool place to park. I think I might've ran a red light camera. I don't know. Don't um, worry about all kinds, it. All kinds of fun stuff happening, but I was trying to find a good place to park then get a good camera angle here in my car. Uh, because I'm not going to drive and face rush hour traffic and do an interview. Good times. No. Hell yeah. No, I hear you. No. Yeah, especially in L.A. What, My God, the traffic what? is a nightmare. Oh, I didn't know I was on here with Michael Sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's oh. another thing. Dude, you and that hair. I keep. I need to get with you about hair products because Who, me? mine. Yeah. Me. Me. Mine is, me. Not you. Me. I don't need to know about your hair okay. products because obviously they didn't work so well. <laughs> no, Mike just shaves his head. That's like Mike that. just, just screw it. I'm going to be a Superman here, man. You know, you guys can grow your hair. I'm going to be different. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Mike grows it on his chin. Yeah, yeah, kind of, sort of, yeah. So how's Mike doing? Mike's how's Mike good. doing today? There we go. Other I think than I got the eight-hour union meeting, I think you got uh, it. Yeah, I hope so. I, I'd rather have like a, a nice high angle because then you know oh, sorry, then you don't see all then you don't see then you don't see all the you know 
I got more chins than a Chinese phone book. I'm going, <laughs> oh straight, to, going straight to hell for that one. But oh. um, no, man, oh. I mean, everything else is, you know, everything else is uh, going well, I suppose. You know, um, Jason and I have been, uh, you know, kind of hard at work at uh, trying to put together this latest Steel City album for Frontiers. Roy's been doing some recording of the vocals. Yes. And uh, we're just kind of putting a, a nice big bow on it here, hopefully within about the next week. And uh, Ty's been mixing the songs kind of as we get them to him. And hopefully mm-hmm. by the, you know, we've run into like a lot of, it's just been, it's like uh, one thing after another in the recording process. It's like every time we think we've cleared a hurdle, it's like, oh, no, 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 wait, there's more. We have another one. Yeah, so we're just kind of sick and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just it's it's kind of been rough, but we're getting through it, and we're hopefully going to have this thing wrapped up with a nice big bow uh, on its way to Frontiers here very soon, within like the next couple of weeks. Nice, yeah. very cool. Yeah, so yeah. is this going to be like an EP full album? What's up? No, it's a, it's going to be a, it's, it's a full album of songs. Uh, sure. We've got yeah, we're gonna I believe it's going to be ten songs, and then um, you know it's kind of kind of the same deal uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, we we're, we're um, you know, the songs, the music, the music uh, I wrote, and we were hoping to get some, you know, some band contributions on the music this time. But you know, with the time constraints and everything, we just kind of went with what we had. And uh, Roy Roy's been kind of adding, injecting his own uh, his own style, I guess, so to speak, onto the right. lyrics. So it's like, uh, you know, he had lyrics that he started with, and then we have lyrics that we're finishing with. And he's kind of inserting his own brand, his his Roy Cathiness to the album. The I Roy Cathiness. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so it's it's it's, it's interesting, man, because it's a, it's a little bit different vibe this time out. Really? And uh, you know, and I think it's gonna, it, you know, it, it, the end result I think is gonna be uh, you know pretty fantastic. I think we're really all looking forward to this, and uh, it's just it's gonna be exciting, man. So it's yeah. it's still gonna be in the same melodic rock range. It's not gonna be oh my god, this is like Megadeth now. No, oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, strange, strange that you mention it. Uh, I think Jason and I'll, I'll shut up after a minute because no, it's okay. Uh, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get get some stuff in because I know you, Jason, you and Jason, been talking for a few. Oh yeah, yeah. So, no, uh, we're, you know, we're, so, so I got to get all my chat in at once. We got time, no. dude. We got time. Well, you never know. I mean, I'm I don't rush you guys. I let you guys might, do what you do. I might. I knew when be, I got you on, you this know. was going to be eight o'clock in the morning before I got off. <laughs> 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 no, but um, in all in all seriousness, I mean, it's like uh, it's it's going to be the same. I think you know the the consensus from the band is this might actually be maybe a little bit heavier than what I we've done so. in the past. Um, I don't think it's like heavy, heavy like um, you know, crazy ass heavy like Metallic or Megadeth or anything like that. I guess the best way I can describe it is, um, Mach Two. Um, when you when you listen to Mach Two, um, when you take the keyboards out it has a completely different vibe it was actually pretty heavy and tony when he comes in and he adds those textures that he's so awesome at uh, it kind of changes the complexity of the album a little bit right. the same is here this album was heavier and then tony comes in and he puts his spin on things and it kind of puts it right back in that mach 2 zone maybe just a, like a notch above a little bit heavier you know um nice and we're, we're kind of looking forward to that uh, the vocals, the backing vocals, um, you know, that we're kind of quote unquote known for, we're still, oh, we yeah. still have, we still have the lush harmonies. We're just trying to emphasize. The harmonies uh, are everything to Steel City. Yeah. We're trying to emphasize, uh, I think, Roy's voice a little bit more on this one. Okay. We've still got some really lush harmonies, but um, uh, it's, we're trying to make them, if this makes any sense, um, sometimes we can't get all of that stuff in live. It's really difficult. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to more or less give it like that. You know, if, if it's on the album, we'll be singing it live. Does that make sense? Makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. And um, I think Jason just mailed off a few tunes to Frontiers. So um, I did. Hopefully, we're, hopefully we'll get some feedback from them on the songs. Uh, one of them is a song that we're hoping to use as the single. So um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some feedback from them here very shortly and uh, go from there. Mentioning Frontiers. Yeah. How yep. did this come about? Uh, you're talking to the guy right now that did it, so I'll let him take over. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm. I can't take all the credit, honestly. I mean, I, I heard a good product. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. presenting a good product, um, having you know, great band members, great business partners, 
you know, make a huge difference. So if you're able to present something that's really good, it's like any scenario. So, you know, if, if you're, if you've got a company that develops computer software and you're looking to, to play with the majors and you need a bank loan, you know what you've got, you present it, you're behind it. It's the same kind of thing. We had a great product that was pretty much ready to go. Um, they wanted the first couple records as well. So that was part of the deal. And then we signed a five record deal for the rest of the rest of the music going forward. So it worked out really well. Um, so I did help, you know, but I think the music actually helped even more. So, I mean, the it's music kind of like, ultimately does the talking. Yeah, yeah exactly. It really does. And if you present, it doesn't matter who you are, uh, whatever, you can present something, and especially if it's your first time. Yeah. You present this, and they go, eh, well, now you've got a black eye. Now yep. that you try to do it again. So you really go out on a limb when you present something and say, okay, do, do I, is this really good? And when you believe in it, and you obviously believed in it, and gave it to them, and they said, okay, let's do yeah. this. Yeah, and I think there, it, it was really, you know, I think it was really um, – Generous to Jason. I'm trying to think of a better word, but that's the one that came to mind. So I'll, I'll run with it to actually even present this to Frontiers. And I think, you know, when he presented it, he presented both albums to them, both, uh, you know, Fortress and Mach 2. And they quite honestly like them both. And, um, you know, and then when, you know, when you have, like Jason said, you have a great band, you know, you've got Tony Stahl, uh, you know, you've got Anthony White. And then, of course, when you have Roy Cathy on vocals, I, I think it all just kind of comes together. And, you know, we definitely have to give Roy his props on, uh, on you know, being the being the guy that he is. And, uh, you know, I think he's got a voice, he, dude. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's the rumor about town. But um, I think, you know, I think it's a culmination of, of everything. You know, I think the fact that, the you know, we've got the band that we have. Uh, I always say to, I always tell Anthony White that when he joined, he is like the glue. He brought everything. He brought everything together. And, and we haven't uh, got into that yet, that you have changed drummers. Oh, yeah, we're Spinal Tap, dude. Um, yeah. <laughs> so. I think, you know, now the lineup that you guys have now is solid. I mean. It's a good it lineup is, for sure. It's, yeah. yeah. I think this is the lineup that's going to go. Uh, let's hope so. Uh, let, let's hope so, and let's hope that you know the the you know the, we don't have a drummer that has like a bathroom accident. You know, then we need a, a drummer number eleven or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we've we've had, had no, a good I mean, legacy, so I mean, you know, yeah. even you know BJ Zan. You know, we started out with you know we started out with Ron McCloskey, went to BJ Zampa, you know, then we had Derek, who you know is also an awesome drummer, and like I said, we were just so fortunate that. That Anthony White wanted to be a part of it. Like I said, we love the guy, man. And it's really, right. you know, it, what people don't realize is, um, you know, when we talk like behind the scenes, we had um, we had our songs picked, right? And right. we were ready to go into the studio and do these songs. And I get a call from Anthony, and he's like, you know, not that those songs are bad. He goes, because they're not. He's like, but I just think that these four songs in the folder are a little bit better. And, you know, he's like, you might want to consider it. And he wasn't like, uh, you know, he's very kind in the way he, you know, he, he says what he says and, and in, his, in his approach. And uh, that speaks worlds about who he is. And right. uh, but you know what? He, I took it. I, you know, listened to what he said and went back and listened. And, uh, you know, I'll be damned if he wasn't right. I, I mean, when the songs that he wanted to uh, exchange uh, for what this album is going to be were better for the album. And mm -hmm. that's the, the beautiful thing about having a guy who's also the front man in his own band, uh, right. you know, in yours, because he's able to look at things from a different perspective and he's able to right. offer up that perspective uh, and do it in a way that is, you know, that is really kind of positive and endearing to the band. Yes. So, uh, like Anthony's said, a great guy. Yeah. I can't, can't say an, enough, good things about about all the guys in the band really quite honestly all the guys but, i mean and yeah the it just hey, you know i've met the band many times and all the different players you know no matter who it was and it this band has always been one that very good you know to people i mean just want to talk you're, you're there you're not okay you don't get off stage and go right back to the back go on to the bus and get out of town 
you're you're, you're around. You want to talk. You want to. There's hang a bus. Out. There's a bus. <laughs> well, that's when. Holy shit, man! Damn Nobody it. told me. God, I, I wasn't supposed like... to say that. Oh. <laughs> it, it's a short bus. It's a short bus. It's a short bus. So really, yeah. the short bus is fun. You know, though. Oh. I, would, I would make I would make some jokes, but they'd be politically incorrect, and I'd probably be chastised by half of Facebook, half of YouTube, half of Instagram. Yeah, because yeah. you know nobody. My has listeners aren't aren't. Um, how can I put this gently? <laughs> politically correct. <laughs> my listeners got a spy. Okay, <laughs> and, and they, my listeners, you know, they know what's up. They've been around the block. They grew up in the eighties, and we, we drank out of garden hoses. You know, got dirt in our eyes. You know, we're not offended very yeah. easily. Unless well, you're offended, then send emails to mikefloros at gmail dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if that's his still, freaking. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if that's his uh, email, but hopefully he doesn't get hate mail. For me, yeah. Where's where is my email showing? No, I was like, if anybody's offended, mikeflores at gmail.com. I don't know if yeah, that's your email. That's, yeah, go ahead, just send it there. Totally, it is, 100%. Yeah. That's it. You got yeah, it. Right. That's it. it there. there, right there. All right, cool. Right there. So, you know, so when did we know a time frame? Well, okay, you're gonna send it to Frontiers. That takes a little bit of time. So you're you're thinking maybe summerish for the new one. To maybe we're kind of. I, I don't know, Jason. What do you think? I mean, we're kind of hoping, but once you you know once we kind of turn it into Frontiers, and you know they have all they have the finished product, they get the video, right. they get the album, they get you know the artwork and all that. Which by the they way, send the me emails done. and this and that. Yeah, yeah I mean. Yeah. It's ultimately, I think Jason would agree. Ultimately, it's up to them, isn't it? They right. kind of determine when they're going to release it. So, yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, I think we're talking, you know, probably around June time frame, somewhere around there. I and mean, we're just guessing because they could say, hey, you know, we, we really like the album, but we want to release it in November. I mean, as long as they have it, they have it. They, at that point, it's it's kind of a different thing because I'm so used to it, and it's it, and I'm just you know and I'm not telling any lies out of school here. Jason and I we've kind of butted head, heads a couple of times. Oh, you got to when I'm you're so, creating. It's a creative yeah. it's a whole process. And I, yeah. it's because I'm so used to doing all of this myself that it's uh you know it, it kind of it it's it's kind of like you just you just I I if, if I was doing this if it was me what I'm saying is I could tell you okay it's going to be out on this date. Yeah, it's not me. And uh, so, but, and we have to, you know, we involve the label and everything because we really want their input. We really want their feedback right. um, because, you know, we're part of their family now. And um, so who knows? But yeah, we're hoping sooner. Uh, John, we're man, hoping sooner rather than later. They do such a great job. I get emails from them every single day, whether it be a new, oh, a nice. new band hitting, whether it be a single getting released. Here's a single for your station. Uh, I get albums probably two months ahead of time oh wow that's good wow yeah give me your give us your feedback whatever so they're always wanting to know like you know what the radio guys what the you know whoever's reviewing music they want to know what we think wow. you know well that's good uh, to know coaching and then you know they su submit um as some bands i don't submit you know any feedback to because they're not in my wheelhouse but if they are like cassidy paris I submitted, hey, this is really good, really spot on, uh, you know, and, and I can't remember what I wrote. Would you expect was... anything less from Cassidy and Steve? Seriously? Oh, my God. And you know? she under, you know, who told me? Um, it might have been Cassidy or, or or Steve told me that she's actually collaborating in, in, under Paul Lane's wing. Yeah, it has been, I think, for a while now. For a while, yeah, and I sure. did not know that. And I'm like, wow, that just that makes total sense. You know, Paul Lane well, is such a great songwriter. Yeah. Well, you know, you got to remember, if you go back to, I think, as far back as the Radio Sun, uh, Steve, Steve has been collaborating with Paul Lane, I think, as far back as that band. So, yes. yeah, I mean, it totally makes sense. And I think it's awesome that they have such a, you know, they have such a great person they can collaborate with, right. somebody who's got that, um, that, that AOR ear a bit, you know, AOR with like right. that hard edge. He's, he's got it. He's, he's great at what he does. And it's really kind of cool. You know, those are the type of relationships that you always hope to make in, in the business. And it's good to see that they have them. 
you know, I've never met him in person, but they just seem like such good people. So, and for anybody who doesn't know who Paul Lane is, he was with Danger, 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 the Defiance. Uh, you know, it just mm -hmm. he's got a solo career that is absolutely fantastic as well. I mean, Jesus, he does it all, and he's a hell of a great guy. I mean, mm -hmm. so you know, for him to be involved, and he's he's involved with stuff, and and Frontiers Records has other artists that you know they might get you guys involved and say hey this would be cool da, da, da. and you know it, the, the sky's the limit once you get in the door somewhere yeah oh yeah, yeah. I, I actually, and by the way I congratulations actually, on getting signed on frontiers thank, oh thanks thank you so much we, we you know we were, we appreciate it and i actually mentioned that uh to roy you know uh when we were we were talking about this when this all started coming about i told him i said i think you know the person that's going to benefit the most uh, quite honestly, is going to be you. You know, you've got the voice and they've got all these, you know, they've got those projects that they like. And, you know, and I think that's really going to, I think it's re really going to help him uh, in, as far as like, you know, collaborating with others and you know, collaborating with some famous people. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, may, I mean, if we're fortunate, I think Jason's, I think Jason's got, a, you know, such a great working relationship with them. I think it could happen for him too. Uh, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, see. I I I don't look at it. You know, I, I'm not looking for that. I'm just looking to make the best Steel City record possible. Right. And if uh, if something else comes of it, you know, I'll be more than happy. You know, if Frontiers rolled around the corner and said, "Yo, Mike, you know, your label mates with Neil Sean, what do you say you guys do a dual guitar album?" I'd be like, "Uh, <laughs> yeah." After sure. you picked yourself up up the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And maybe, you know, maybe you know, got a got a wheelbarrow to clean up all the shit bricks that I dropped from being so right. <laughs> I mean, it just yeah. You don't that know. dude, man. It's, it's like it that's, just... that's, Jason. Does that freak you out? Your label mates with Neil Sean. Neil Sean, it doesn't. But I mean, I'm I'm proud of that. <laughs> you know, dude. That's it's like dude, Jason's uh, such a cool character. He's just like yeah, Neil. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go if. <laughs> Yeah, historically, maybe I was groomed for this. So um, I grew up in upstate New York and there was a play. I won't go too long in this, but just to give some history, there was a civic center called Glens Falls Civic Center, still there. But every band used to come through there. And my, one of my friend's older brothers was, um, he worked as a roadie there. So every time a band came through there, it was always like, you know, we got dropped off by my friend's parents and we had to hang out with his you know, older brother and he was in charge the whole night. So Anytime a band came through there, like, you know, Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, anybody, we were there talking with them, you know? So nice. I just kind of got used to it. It just kind of became my reality. So I think that's cool about those bands. I just always kind of felt like I should be there. You know, that's all. And, right. and rightfully so. I hope so. I try. If, if you want to be somewhere, you know, if you want to do something, if yeah. you see yourself or believe that you could be there, you're not going to get there. Yeah, exactly. So but if I, you I, believe you be in, you you should be in this crowd, you're in. But I do think like what Mike's saying, it's you know it's it's huge. I mean Neil Sean, legend. You know, I mean, it, oh, I mean his you know his music crosses so many genres, so many years. So to be on the same thing, yeah. I mean, yeah. I would definitely if I was to meet Neil Sean, I would I would you know, it'd be one of those yeah. you know fan moments. I mean. I, you know, oh, I was embarrassed just recently. I was staying, um, we were playing at the Whiskey w with, with Westbound. And, uh, you know, Craig Ross from Lenny Kravitz was there. I've, I've been a oh, fan wow. of his guitar playing since, you know, since I don't know when. But he was standing there to talk to him. And then also, I just happened to be just walking down the hall. And, I mean, there was Tommy Thayer. They had played two nights before. Oh, wow. At, yeah, at the... Uh, uh, at the Hollywood Bowl, so you know, getting to talk to him for two days in a row kind wow. of blew my mind. Yeah, that would be yeah, something. That's really cool. Tommy yeah. Thayer, I hear I he's like really, really down to earth. I mean, just not this egocentric. You know, yeah, he's in Kiss, but he's not that mentality. That's what I hear. I never oh met. yeah, no, yeah, he's super, super cool. Right. Um, you know, he was in Black and Blue, obviously. Yep. For years. Um, mm -hmm. Brandon Cook, who we probably know, but shout out to him. I played with him in Stardust for a few years. Great guitar yep. player. So it, it kind of, you know, I name dropped a little bit. Hey, I, I, you know, I used to play with Brandon Cook, and he knows Brandon from Black and Blue because 
Tommy, every so often, will do like a reunion show of Black and Blue. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So that kind nice. of, you know, kind of bridged that little gap there. So I think that kind of opened things up. But that was, that was pretty cool. But, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, being on yeah, getting back to being on Frontiers with Journey, that's pretty amazing. I mean, the the, 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 the huge there's a huge huge list, obviously, of, of all these great fantastic bands that are on there. Right, and now Steel City, come yeah. on, come on, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. That's so, right, that's right. <laughs> and then you know, you're on the you're on the extreme West Coast. He's on the extreme East Coast. Roy Canty's east coast southern east coast <laughs> you know how do you guys make this work i know it's been like two years since the last album so uh, I, I don't think that's uh, all it's been because longer of, than, been longer than that it's been four when was when was it released i keep thinking 2020 march, march of 2020 yeah why does covid it, oh wait it a minute happened? it's not 2022 anymore is it oh my god oh my gosh wow why yeah, was i but, thinking uh, it was 2022 Wow. I don't know. So, so what? Wow. What was your question? You know, the the did it take? There's a be, being on the different coasts and you know so much oh. real estate between everybody. Is that what contributed to this? We also know that the pandemic contributed to not getting, you know, not being able to release another album for a few years. But it, does it have a lot to do with you know um, being so far away and not? No, I, I think what it has to do with more than anything, uh, you touched on it earlier. Uh, Jason's in 400 bands. <laughs> for that. Yeah, I, so, think, I, mean, well, I think it went to 401, 401 overnight. Yeah, he might be to 406 think, by now. So I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys are too but, you know, so you've got to check my ticker. Yeah, yeah. You know, you've got to you've got to remember that J Jason's Jason's in in a few bands. Roy, of course, is in you know Steel City. He's also, of course, in Cold Sweat, and then he's got his own band, which he's you know extremely proud of, the Fifth. So he's got three bands. Anthony, you know, he's in Anthony's in three bands. Tony Stahl's in three bands. Oh, yeah. I mean, you start thinking about, you know, all of the things that, you know, that, that, that uh, you know, that entails with it, with the, it's not like we're all like in these major touring bands. I'm not saying that at all, but, you know, this band's got a show here. This band's got a show here. Right. There, um, you know, their Generation Landslide puts out an album. Uh, Tony and Jason are working on something with with uh, you know Lonnie Hammer and Hammer Down Hard. All of that, you know, all of those timelines, you know, they 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 kind of all run together, and it kind of makes things a little bit more difficult getting getting stuff done. Um, right. That's that's probably one of the biggest parts of it. Um, the other one is, you know, um, just being honest with you. Prior to Frontiers, saving up some money to put some stuff out. You know, I I put out Love and Change. Uh, as well, that's yeah, right. you know, we we cannot forget you know we cannot forget uh, you know the incomparable Rob Kane or our or our, our main man Mr. Brian Carl uh, for sure, and uh, so you know that has part of it you know and we're you know Love and Chains is we've done something called the Rust Belt that we're working yes. on we're putting an EP out here pretty soon but so all of that you know you put all of that in a big pot and it's like okay how are you supposed to get just just Steel City done. You know, right. especially like when Roy's working on Steel City and a fifth album at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's, um, you know, it becomes, that's what becomes the probably the biggest hurdle. Right. Th these guys know, uh, we get an interview, what, in 2021 or 2022 at, um, at uh, Rock and Pod, and they asked us about the album. The album was pretty much written then. It was just a matter of picking the songs. And I sent right. these guys 20 songs and, you know, said, if you guys want to contribute, you know, please feel free. We want to make this more of a band environment. And um, like I said, due to time constraints, we just pick 10 and there you go. Right. So, I mean, it, 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 to whittle them down is tough. Well, I, I mean, mean, yeah, I mean, it was and it wasn't. I mean, so what happened was the offer came in pretty quick. We went back and forth a little bit. So by the time that we got the offer on the table, got everything signed. I mean, we're talking September. July. No, well, like, yeah, it was, was it? it was July. We got the offer, July. July, but we didn't really get the thing signed until like September. Once we got everything sorted a couple of times going back and forth and then, okay, they want the music, you know, which they initially wanted it by like December 15th. And so we're just like, oh my God, you know, we didn't okay. say no, but then we were kind of, 
you know, they gave us like an automatic extension. So, I mean, I'm sorry, Mike, I, I think we're doing great. I know we took a little bit longer than, than we wanted to do, but we'll have it done Jake, by the end of the month. Jason, Jason's saying he's sorry because he knows I'm like the guy that wants to, I'm when I have timelines, I'm like, I'm that guy. I'm like, all right, right. timelines here, timelines here. Time, we've got, and I'm, I'm oh, very yeah. much that guy. I think I always have been. Uh, for better or worse. You know, no, I think, I think that's basic. great. We need somebody. You always need somebody like that, you know, um, driving force, so to speak. So absolutely. Yeah. 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 So that's that's why you know, like when we were, you know, when when uh, we were talking, you know, when we were texting back and forth, and I was like, uh, I'm like, uh, and I told you, I said, hey man, I said, yeah, I, I got to get this Steel City thing to bed. I said it's kind of stressing me out. And that's the reason why, because I'm like the timeline is just killing me it it's breaking my it's breaking my i heart hate them right i hate them i'll set timelines for myself and not meet them and then mm -hmm. nothing drives me even more batty than when i don't meet my own timeline yeah and i had the time i mean yeah. it wasn't a, a crazy one it's like why didn't i and then the wife will want to go somewhere but i have something to do and then it's like i gotta get it done at this day and then but you know what? I freak out, and then if I do it the next day, it all works out anyway. Yeah, far far be it from Carrie to want to impose a little on your time, right? <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, you know, let her know that she's like first. I mean, mm -hmm. first, always. Nothing comes before Carrie, ever. That's right. That's right. And that's way. That's what. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, we lost Jason. Uh oh. Uh, I'm still here. I'm just trying to find mood lighting for you, bro. Because I'm. Oh, you're fine. I, I had a. I did an interview with uh, Riff from Tango Down, and the sun was going out. He was on his back porch. He didn't realize it, but he was totally in the dark. He's that's, like, man, that's I... what. That's what I'm facing here in a minute. That's why I'm. Uh, I'm trying to find like the, the the lights in the car and everything. Right. So I might have to turn the car on here in a minute just to make sure that we've got like hello, you know. Hey. Oh, so talk about uh, Love and Chains. You only tapped on it, but uh, Love and Chains. Uh, you and Jason are in oh, that wow. band. Um, let's let's talk a little oh, bit yeah. about that because you got the EP coming out called The Rust Belt. Yeah, yeah, that's actually we're we're pretty excited about that. And it's um, what the Rust Belt is is uh, I can't remember if it's six songs or seven. I'm not really sure. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I, I, I think it's. I yes, think we it's seven. Yeah, I got you. Thanks. Lost but, my um, camera. Back up in a minute. Okay. But um, so what we did is, you know, uh, Rob and I started talking about it because we are, you know, of course, from Youngstown, Ohio, which is, you know, part of the area in the United States. It's known as the Rust Belt. Yep. So we said, you know, let's uh, let's just, you know, make an EP while we're, you know, while we're waiting uh, to, you know, because we're also sorting out the songs that we want to put on the next Love and Chains album. Uh, I said, let's, let's do, let's, we were like, let's do an album of covers. You know, I think that'd be really kind of cool and pay tribute to, to the hometown, pay tribute to the, to the area. And so we started thinking of bands that we'd like to, you know, to, uh, to kind of cover. And, uh, you know, Donnie Iris and the Cruisers, of course, comes up and of Absolutely. course, oh yeah, hundred percent. And then of course, it's not just bands from the area. It's like Ian Hunter, Cleveland rocks. I mean, how could you not? Um, and then, uh, you know, so there we, we looked at other bands, like uh, bands that probably people really, if they, they've never lived in the area, would ne have never heard the songs, like uh, Boku, Born and Raised on Rock and Roll. Um, and um, we did a Cool in the Gang song, even. Because, nice. uh, yeah, because uh, the, the, the Bell Brothers are actually born in Youngstown, Ohio, even though I know they're, quote unquote, from Jersey. They were born in Youngstown, and they lived the, the early part of their lives there. And then... Um, I sang a, I actually sang on this one. I sang a song called Voodoo uh, because I think you guys might know I'm a huge Michael Stanley band fan. Never and, knew uh, that. I, I didn't know that about you. Oh, love Michael Stanley. <laughs> and, uh, and so I think you, you know, bring it up every conversation we have. Something right, about really? Michael. Yeah, it's just always it always comes back to Michael Stanley. Like things with me come back to Iron Maiden. And you it's always come back to Michael Stanley. I'm just going to say this, and I don't care who hears it. I don't care if the man from, with his E Street band hears it. Michael Stanley was better than Bruce Springsteen. Period. I can Exclamation get, I, point. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. 
So, um, yeah, so um, I just, you know, when he passed, I sang, I did a, a version of a, a song off of the Heartland album called Voodoo. And um, I was going to just put it out as like a little thing on Spotify myself. And then when this started coming, you know, when this came about, I'm like, you know, well, let's just put that on the album too. And Rob and I have a blast, uh, you know, coming up with these ideas. And then we just kind of, I don't know, force them on our other band. <laughs> right. Hey. So, but, you know, JC is a good sport about it. And so is Brian. So, uh, but, you know, we're really excited to, we're, you know, we're really excited, of course, to uh, start working. You know, once once we're able to get the Steel the Steel City album done, finished, out, promoted, rock it out like you know, super solid, which is our goal because you know we we want and need to do that. Um, we'll focus a little bit more on Love and James. Cool, but the EP just gets something yep. out there to appease people and, and just you know, I've heard some of it and it, i like it. i i really dig it i think it'll do well well it, it's like i said it, it's it's just that's that was a true labor of love you know and i think most i think jason can agree that it doesn't matter whether it's you know uh, love and chains westbound steel city uh hammer down hard these days if you're in music and you're doing this it's a labor of love people that oh, are yeah. out there people that are out there right now that are in our situations that are looking to get rich Man, uh, God bless you. I hope. <laughs> I, I, God bless you, man. I, I hope you can. I wish that you do. Um, I, nothing makes me happier than to see other people succeed. Um, uh, myself succeeding too is always kind of nice. But uh, I think if you're doing this right now and you're and you're thinking about this from a monetary standpoint, you might be looking at it from the wrong angle. Right. Even you know doing like I do radio and I do this, and even. You know, booking some shows. If I'm looking to make money off it, I'm going to be very disappointed. If I'm just mm -hmm. doing it just because I love to do it, and you know, you, if you love to do it and you take the money aspect out, just say, hey, you know, I can throw money at things. I can lose money like crazy, and I'm good at blowing money. And I figure, okay, let's blow money on radio. Let's blow money over here. Let's blow money. And, and you know what? I feel a lot better about myself if I'm blowing money. On, 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 on these things, now. but you ain't gonna make money at it. Mm. It's 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 difficult, very difficult. If you're not Metallica, you're not. You know, you it's just the way it is. You just gotta yeah. build, build it. And like you said, it's a labor of love. You just gotta keep growing and keep going and keep going. Okay, I got twenty bucks for the gas tank. Got the you know. You just it, it's it's a labor of love. Jason's back. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that. My phone, actually, my phone died, and then I tried to integrate my camera on my computer during that. So, uh, but we're back to the phone. <laughs> hey, the Boston bass man is also a technician. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, definitely a labor of love. So, but, but uh, we're we're back here. So, yeah, like like you guys were saying, I mean, the, I mean, that's kind of one of the reasons why I do so many bands, you know. Um, you know, and I'm pretty much back and forth between the East Coast and West Coast. And there, for a while, it was pretty equal. Like, I was pretty much out there at least once a month. And it'll wow. probably end up being that way again very shortly. Um, but the way we really make this thing work is, you know, the chemistry. You know, Mike is a great songwriter. And we're all really behind this product so much. So even though we're not, you know, we're not getting rich at it right now, you know, at least we're getting the music out there to the people. You know, you're, you're getting yeah. rich in your heart. I yeah. mean, you know, you'll fulfill that. 100%. Way. Yeah. I mean, we're believers and we want yeah. everybody else to be believers. You know, I mean, we grew up on this stuff. Right. And it may not be the mainstream. I mean, like, you know, there's so many, you know, pop female singers out there that are like dominating the charts and whatnot. You but I mean, singers. there is. They, they're really not singers. They, they do it through a computer. Yeah, yeah, I know. There, there are some legitimate ones too. The legitimate but, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor but, Swift yeah. is a legitimate one. We'll just deal with that. And she's legitimately <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, she's yeah. Legitimately no, I, I, a billionaire. Legitimately. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I agree, and I, and you know, I've gone to a few of her concerts. I have to say, um, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, and then you see a band like Kiss, who's kind of, who you know, sort of threw in the towel. But I mean, 
that final show was pretty legendary. Not the not their greatest performance, obviously in in my book, but the whole world was really focused on them. So right. I mean, you know, you see what what's his name, Evan Stanley? Is that Paul's son? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, you know, mm -hmm. I wish him the best, but he's nothing compared to his dad, obviously. No. But I uh, mean, you know, the legacy obviously will continue on, and now we've got this thing happening with those characters that they came up with but anyways i'm, I'm going down a crazy path here my whole point of it is, <laughs> yeah <laughs> my whole point of it is we believe in this music regardless of what kind of income we make from it yeah right. 100%. exactly and, and that's and I, i'm in the same boat with the radio station yeah i don't look at how many listeners i have per five minutes yeah it's i'm reaching and then yeah this day i might have this month i might have or when I first started out, I might have had 10. Yeah. And then, okay, you got to look at where you started and where you are. And are we gaining? We're gaining. We're yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, and, and do I really care? No, because it's kind of my playlist. Yeah. Then I'll, it, it's three, four, five thousand 5,000 songs that are my playlist. And, you know, it's like cool. And I just, it's, and, you it's know, kind of it, cool. It's, it's people, the way, if I may, Mike, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. It's kind, it's kind of cool that you're making out a playlist of stuff that you like. You're putting it on a station, and people dig what you do. They people dig like, what you I do. like that too. That's and then, that's what it, know, that's what it all comes down to. It's another form of art. Whether you know, people not, might say that you're not creating, but yet you are because you're creating that playlist and you're creating that vibe that people are attaching themselves to. So yeah, I mean, and then you know, it, it's given bands like Steel City an outlet. Where they didn't have an, an outlet. The songs they, are on my you know, playlist. You know, it's like, oh, there you go. Got, yeah, you just, you, you've got to, you know, where other radio stations fail to recognize newer music or uh, they, they do have it, but then they got so many genres that they throw into the mix. They, okay, you got people for these two songs, but you lost people for these four songs. So you, you've got to create something and do something that everybody vibes with. And if they vibe with you, that's great. So then you can get, okay, Steel City out there. Get Love and Chains out there. Okay. Then they message you go, okay, who is this Love and Chains? Who is this Steel City? Uh, can you send me more with, with links yeah. or whatever? And, it, you know, I get messages like that. On, and that, it doesn't matter that I spend hundreds of dollars on this a month. It's the people that reach out and say, hey, can I – can you tell me more about this? Where where can I find links to this? Okay, cool. Here you go. That is everything. I mean, when when people vibe with your music, then it's like great. I, you know, turned them on to this. Cool. That's another fan for them. That's another. You know, that's all it's about: reaching people and connecting with people. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you do it with, you do it with your music? You you've got. You started out with five people in a room. You've got twenty people in a room. You've got a hundred people in a room now. Now you're 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 you're, you're touching people. Yeah, not the oh, way not, uh, phys not not physically touching. Not the people. way uh, <laughs> that one guy does inappropriately. <laughs> no, <laughs> See, I said that one guy. I wasn't that, saving that, any names. Not like that one guy <laughs> down by the river no, in, in van, the white van, van, free tacos and puppies. Van. <laughs> Put a van filled with candy. <laughs> in a van down by the river. Now, okay, this this guy here, he, I didn't put his name on, but yeah, I can't because he's a Facebook user. But I know who he is, and I know you know who he is. Hello, Facebook user. But uh, he says go <laughs> Chiefs, and I know that's directed at you because. He says what? It says go Chiefs. Yeah, well, you know. It's, it's, a, a, it's, it's Sean. Toughest, toughest thing. Toughest Sean thing about Oaks. Being yeah, it goes in you. Oh, the toughest thing about being a Chiefs fan is coming out to your family and friends. Just saying. Oh, you know? wow. <laughs> Sean, you asked for that, dude. Yes, he did. You did. And I've, <laughs> and I've got more. He's got more. <laughs> That's right. Yes. He's, my, he's my bald Iowa brother, man. That's, That's what he so said earlier. Man. He's like, yeah. He's That's, said, I, I've met him. He's a great dude. He, he said this earlier. He said, That's my bald friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, I just uh, there, he's he's a good dude, man. I met him. I yeah. met him at one of the Rock and Skulls, and uh, you know we of course were friends on Facebook through like Melodic Mafia and Glam Rock City and all that right. stuff before that. But 
yeah, I finally got a chance to meet him once in person. So hopefully that'll, you know, maybe we're going to get, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be like a, a nice festival we could play or something and we'll be able to run into Sean again. Yep. I met him on the yeah. Monsters of Rock cruise. Great dude. That's yep. cool. Hey, but, we have um, Scott Wodowski on here too, actually, the drummer from Hammer Down Hard. Oh, oh really? nice. 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 What's that. up, dude? Well, I can meet him soon. He's yeah, yeah. in without me knowing. Yeah, well, you know. Hey. Very cool. I am really looking forward to this whole lineup. Let's let's let everybody know about that. Uh, we have if we just uh, could have got Love and Chains on there. We'd be really happy. I mean, geez, <laughs> I, I don't know who do you got to know to get Love and Chains on there. I mean, geez. So we have this show, well, we, Roxy we Blue, we, we Steel tried. City, Hammer Down Hard, Lonnie Hammers, Hammer Down Hard, Generation Landslide, and Broken Road. Now, yeah, good lord, this is going to be a great show. Yeah, well, you know, the one thing that I can, you know, that, you know, Jason, that I could say, uh, Jason and I try to do when we put these shows together is we honestly, you know, it's like when you see a lot of these shows, um, you know, where, how can I say this? Because I don't want to, I'm not going to mention a lot of times the bands that are coming on before you, you know, it's like, you know, you know you're okay, I'll, I'll just get there when my friends are playing. We right. want to make, you know, we're always like, we're, we kind of try to be really conscious, conscientious yes. about, about the bands that are playing with us. Cause we want to make sure that if someone's paying, you know, 20 bucks to see quote unquote us and Roxy blue, uh, they're not paying 20 bucks to see us and Roxy blue. They're paying 20 bucks to see five killer bands that they're going to be like, right. Holy shit. You know, it's like, how is right. the band that, you know, you know, Broken Road comes on and then it's like, here comes Generation Landslide and you're thinking, how's Generation Landslide going to top Broken Road? Or how, you know, how, how are they going to hang with them? We want every band to basically be at their best and have people just walk out happy, you know? And uh, I think maybe I didn't say that right because I'm not politically correct and I'm not trying to, you know, you know, I'm not you're, trying to butter Superman. anybody's biscuit you're or Superman, anything like dude. that. Well, but, yeah, well, only, Superman, only, only, you got this. Only on my days off. You know, but, I'm not trying to but I'm not trying to butter anybody's biscuit, but I'm trying to say we love to we love to jam with people and we like to jam with people that are awesome. And this <laughs> is gonna be a good jam. And yeah, you and Roxy Blue hang out. I mean, you guys seem to share a lot of bills. Uh we've shared a few and you know, I think that goes back to our I think that goes back to our BLA days. Big shout out to Bradley, man. Love you, brother. Uh yeah, we, we, love Brad. we haven't talked I haven't talked to Brad and I know it's like our intention is we keep saying, Yeah, man. I'll give you a call next week. I'll give you. It's like oh, okay, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That's me. So it's like he was down he, here. They, they were yeah. going through, and Angie reached out. She's like, "Hey, we're gonna we're going to Orlando, and mm-hmm. we're gonna stop by so and so's house on the way down, and then on the way back, do you mind if we stop by?" I was like, "Hell no, we don't not mind if you stop by. We it, it's so hard to see, you know. Yeah, even picking up the phone or." texting it just so hard to do that it, it, it's, we get so busy i get so busy yeah. brad gets busy and you know he works yeah. jobs you you guys work jobs and, and plus we got all our little hobbies going on and it's just yeah. so hard to keep in contact so every now and then you get that text from somebody it's like wow and it might only be a yeah. five minute text but it's so cool so when he said you know he's gonna stop over i was like okay cool this this is great that was a great weekend and when Jason yeah. reached out and said, hey, we're doing a show at the Whiskey. You want to host? I was like, there's an excuse for me to go hang out with the guys. Yeah. You know? <laughs> there you go. That's it's, all you need. That's all you need is an excuse. It's so. an excuse. I mean, it's, it, screw it. Well, it's never <laughs> yeah. been to L.A. That's Mike's hometown. I mean, we're going to have – it's going to be a blast. Anybody who's going to be in the L.A. area, Nam's going on. You'll be yep. in the L.A. area. Anyway, just stop yep. by the 24th. And stop by the whiskey. We know yes. this is a cool place. Okay. If yes. you've never heard of the whiskey, it's a cool yes. place. You know, all five bands are really good in my mind. I mean, I've seen three of them, two of them, no, two of them, Roxy and Steel City. Worth the price of admission right there. And then Lonnie Hammer's Hammer Down Hard, I'm very interested in seeing. Generation yeah, last night, I have always been interested in seeing. They're also playing the Empree Party in mm-hmm. Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Third. Yeah. 
So yeah, and then Broken cool. Road, love Shannon Wilk. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah. gotta go see she's her. She's she's a legend in her own. I she mean, is. come on, yeah. she's oh, everywhere. By, by the, and by the way, I believe that uh, not just Mama Wilk. I think Daddy Wilk's gonna be here too. If I'm not mistaken, I think he is. I which is I did here, which is completely awesome. Uh, I love that family, man. Those those are such good people, man. Yeah, I love really... I love the Wilks. Yep, I love they're the Wilks, very cool. Man. Yeah, whenever, whenever I had an opportunity to play with them, I always do. So whether it's you know, with Steel City, which we did this show last year with them. Um, mm -hmm. Westbound, I mean, I, I, I had them on some bills. Westbound, we did dingbats with them. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's they're just great people. They, you know, yeah. it's immersive their time. You know, they've always been willing to take photos of the band, whether it was <clears throat> Steel City, who I, I met them through originally. And then <clears throat> they started following up with, with Westbound. Even when I did some shows with Brian Monroe, they came out and shot that. Nice. You know, so, I mean, yeah. just they're great, great people. people. I met them oh, yeah, on so board, it, and it's just fantastic people. And it's going to be really awesome because not, you know, if that's the case, you know, we've got we've got Jody that's going to be there on uh, again January twenty fourth, Whiskey a Go Go, Steel City, Roxy Blue, Generation Landslide, Broken Road, Hammer Down Hard, badass show, badass show, twenty bucks. It's going to be great. Twenty and bones. Playing, twenty bucks. We're playing, next, <clears throat> we're playing the next night at Stages in Santa Ana, so we're playing the night before Nam, and then when Nam kicks off. You know, a lot of those same bands, and we can add Sled to the bill yep. uh, on stages at Santa Ana. We're going to have a, a good time, man. That shows that shows actually 10 bucks. So we're going to have a good time. Yeah. 10 and, uh, bones. 10 bones. Can't get ten a cup bones. of coffee in LA for that. Come on. Oh, yeah. I know. And here you can see four, five, six dozen bands. Come on. Yeah. I know. When you think like about you said, LA, I mean, gas is seven dollars a gallon, so it's I, almost it's just a little bit more no, than a gallon of gas. It's, it's down to five now. We're five. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. They got you yeah. guys so snowballed uh, than what's yeah, going on in the rest of the country because it's like two sixty-seven here. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's cheap. Even up here, it's three bucks. You know, five bucks. Yeah. Wow. I'm not driving yeah. there. I get an Uber. <laughs> I said, screw it. That's not going to be uh, cheap either. I think an Uber from the airport was going to cost me like 70 bucks. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're staying in Hollywood, yeah, definitely. I took a, oh, yeah. I took an Uber <clears throat> about a year ago from LAX to Glendale, which is, you know, it's a little bit past Hollywood. And it cost me $130 That's one way. Jesus. $130. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's I got, I, I think I went, I got a credit card just for the Uber's in LA. I was like, I'm not driving anywhere. I'm going to get an Uber and I don't have to worry oh, about it. Yeah. So I exactly. got one just, this one, I put it on my Uber and Lyft account. And I was like, whatever, you know, and then a lot of people said, don't fly into LAX, you know, they, you know, but do Burbank. And I think you told me that too, Mike. Oh, uh, like, yes, I did. But <laughs> if I want to get the experience of LA, I've got to include LAX. I've got to see it. I've got to experience all the frustrations and all that. And I think <laughs> since I'm getting an Uber, it's going to be easy anyway. This guy know how to get out of there. I mean, I don't have to worry about it. I just get in the back yeah. and say, let take me here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's going to be from getting from the plane to the Uber. That's really going to suck. Yeah. yeah good that, luck with that, that dude. You let me know how that works out for you. It's, I got plenty of time. I'm coming in yeah. early so I can still make the show. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Sure <laughs> thing. Coming, <laughs> you might make, you know what? If you're, I'm glad you're coming in a day early since you're coming into LAX. You just might make the show. <laughs> I just might make the show. Just I'm might probably going to get mugged a couple times, which I've got credit cards for that. I just hand <laughs> them and say, here, just take this. You know. Have yeah. I, so, I mean, so I, I was commuting, I remember one time from Laguna Beach to flower street downtown la so my office was there so you know from laguna it was 43 miles and it would i would leave my place at sometimes four o'clock in the morning and just make it there on time <laughs> traffic is that bad damn <laughs> yep. damn i yep. hear traffic's horrible wow you'll find out yeah, you'll you find know, out. It is what it is. I mean, I'm you'll getting in out. at 10 a.m., so it should be okay. <laughs> I mean, what, whatever. Maybe everybody is be at work on a Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. Just I'm in for it. No, but, I, mean, I, I love LA. I must say, you know, and that, right. that song, that Gary Newman song, you know, the guy who does all the stuff for Toy Story now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I remember 
I remember I first moved out there years ago, back in the eighties and I was cutting my grass and some guy pulled up in a pickup truck and he was blasting that song. It was like my second day there right. <laughs> and I was cutting my grass. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I love LA. Yeah. Yeah. It just, yeah, well, that. It just blew me away. I'll never forget. You called it. it my, you called it my hometown earlier. I just want to be clear about something. Youngstown, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> Youngstown, my Ohio is my hometown. I just live here. Right. Okay. I'm, I get I'm that. Proud of my, I'm proud of my hometown. Am I proud of LA? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, it, it's it's different. I mean, it's it's, it's got a different vibe, and I can't wait to. I'm that, that's as far as I've been. I've been to Phoenix way, way a long time ago, but that's the only place. Pahonix. Yeah, that's. I, I would live there. Pahonix is nice. A little hot, live, but it's nice. Yeah, it's hot. Holy shit. It was like 108 when I was there. It was, wow, it was hot. But it wasn't the muggy hot that you get on the East oh, Coast. It's a dry, it's a yeah. dry heat. And I hear <laughs> the same way with, you know, California. It's, it's not muggy, you know, which is cool. I mean, uh, okay, sure. Who knows? I mean, the state is so big. Sure. I mean, so, I mean, when you think about Northern California, which is really kind of wet all the time, and then you got Southern California incredibly dry, you know, right. it's just like, it's like its own country practically. And it that, really you know, is. You know, you could go skiing in the morning and then go to the beach in the evening. Oh, yeah. All you got to do is drive. Exactly. Yep. Four hour drive, three hour drive, you go skiing and then go to the beach. Whatever. You can do the same. You can do the same thing in North Carolina, dude. Just saying. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's if you want to, uh, you want to get around a Appalachia. <laughs> I'm sending snow your way for us. Who said that? Sean. Uh, Sean loves you. John. He's, Sean. He's going to send you snow. Sean? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, all I can say is that, that's okay, El Guapo. Send me all your snow. It goes in ya. Right. It's okay. So, we have New Steel City music coming out soon. Whatever yes. Frontiers decides. We have yes, we're looking at June. Probably June. We have the Rust Belt from Love and Chains coming out real soon. Yes. 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 In the next couple months. Yes. Yes. And we got a show at the whiskey. On yes. the twenty fourth, yes, and so stages so on the twenty fifth. Twenty fifth stages. Anything else? Yeah, Jason's got hammer down hard. Oh, Jason's got it. That's a whole nother show. Jason's got he's, westbound. He's got a yeah, whole yeah we talked about that. Yeah, I think. Yeah, down. I think. Oh, okay, I think. Uh, but I also think you know, Jason. If I'm not mistaken, he also has a band. I think he and Jesus are putting a band together. <laughs> what at this point? Yeah. What? Well, okay. he, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, he kind of looks like Jesus a little bit. Yeah, he's got. Oh, no, hey, if he got the don't, full don't, beard going on, oh my he's got god! To, he's got. To, he's got to put on a cap, and he's got the whole Michael Sweet thing going. Oh, on. Yeah. oh yeah, I he's yeah, good. I was wearing a cap yesterday, and you know, Mike kind of gave me a hard time. But I, I, I like. I think that's a compliment, though. So yeah. uh, as you, as you, hell said, yeah, Michael Sweet. Michael Sweet's a good man. I look like, <laughs> I, you know, I get Axel Rose a lot. That I don't consider that a compliment. But if I got Michael yeah, Sweet, oh man, I'd be like, "Damn, I'm doing something right." Yeah. If, so, if somebody, if somebody told me I looked like Axl Rose, I oh can only God. think of what I'd say. I'd be like, like Jackie Gleason and Smokey and the Bandit. I'd be like, "Remind me when we get home to punch your mama, your in mama the in the mouth." I was <laughs> like, I just walked away. I'm like, whatever, dude. I'm like, I was like what the heck? I got Kid Rock, which is out of the blue. I was like, Kid Rock, okay. Yeah, um, well, you know, I give a shit. Sure. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Care. Well, yeah. yeah so like I said, so Westbound will be, and that's Saturday. You know, prior to this, so Saturday the twenty first, we'll be hosting the Vegas Rocks Music Awards. So we'll be one of the one of the presenters. So not hosting nice. the whole entire thing. So that kind of leads up to that. I, I just oh, got my ticket cool. situated this evening for that. Thanks to Trace. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Now you think will Chaz be at the? He'll be at the whiskey show. <clears throat> I hope so. You know, he usually comes sure. out. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll text him tonight. I'll be like, "Dude, you're gonna be at the whiskey show." I'm sure he will be. He's and then he's gonna say, and then you say, "That's Mike Flores' band playing, right?" He's like, yeah. You go, "Fuck that! I ain't going." <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that! I ain't going. He, he came last time. He did. La we did this, buddy. We did this last April. He did. He uh, came last time. He's yeah, good, dude. I, I like just, him. Yeah, Chad. I love Chad. Right, 
And Westbound was yeah. there in October. Well, actually, November. It was November 2nd. We played the whiskey. Yeah, yes. I was on vacation. So I, because I, I yeah. wanted to go and I couldn't go because I was on vacation. I was in Costa Rica. Yes, that's right. Yeah, Costa Rica. I, that's right, my friend. I was in Costa Rica. It was very nice. Pura, Pura Vida, for sure. Oh, yeah, it was a fun time. Good time. That's amazing. I was so jealous. I saw those photos. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's well, so yeah. hard for me to go out of the country. I go to Jamaica. I don't want to go anywhere. I go to Haiti. I don't want to go anywhere. It's like I get I get freaked out. I mean, I just just Jamaicans want to touch me. It's like, dude, don't <laughs> no, don't <laughs> touch. Hey, I hey, uh, all I wrong. see is kidnapped American. I'm never gonna see home again, and I get all freaked out. I tell Carrie, turn around. We're going back to the hotel. You know, oh, yeah. Mr. Kid it's Rock, scary. let me touch you, man. Let yeah. me touch you, um, Kid Rock. Don't touch me. I, pl mm. I played a gig down there. I won't be long-winded. I know we're going long here. but So I played a gig down there years ago. And so <clears throat> after the show, they were like, there were people that were, they weren't really rock fans. They were local people. And I thought they just wanted to shake our hands. Well, then they put these bracelets on our hands. And we, oh, just, yes. we, thought, they, we thought they were gifts. No. And then. Next thing I know, these guys are getting all pissed off. We didn't give them any money. We're like, well, we thought you were giving us those. <laughs> right. Yep. And they, yeah. they, hey, we were in Haiti and they immediately want to know your name and they yeah. start writing it, uh, carving it into whatever. And here you go. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. And we walked and we were on the beach and we, we saw, okay, there's this little path and it went through the uh, people I was with wanted to go up there. I'm like, I don't know about this. We get up there, there's this little village. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, I don't like this one fucking bit. And next thing you know, we're getting pulled. And I'm like, mm. so I come up with a brilliant idea. I was like, hey, man, I'm on the ship. I've got to do a show. Yeah, yeah. That's I want good, yeah. to attend a show. They yeah. thought I had to play a show. Oh, you banned. Yes, yeah, banned. Oh, let him go. He'll be back. Here, you <laughs> take this and you pay us. With it. No, 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 no. No take and pay back. I'll, I'll be back. I didn't tell him what year, but I'll be back someday. <laughs> but I didn't go back that day. I, I haven't been back to Haiti since. <laughs> Don't take a wrong turn, man. I mean, then the people we were with, I didn't find them till the next day. They're like, oh, yeah, we went in the back. We went all over the place. We were hanging with them. I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, they had a blast at the time of their life. It was, um, yeah. Oh my god, I can't remember his name. Um, oh my god, Carrie knows their names. But uh, it was just like, okay, you had a blast. That's great. I was just scared for my life. <laughs> it's like monsters no. and rock cruise. Yeah, well, I, I think I'm done with that. There's other. I things. don't know. Some. There's other someday, things to do. Man. Yeah. There's other things. Well, to I've, do. I've 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 never been on that cruise. Right. Uh, people always ask me why don't you go and i'm like i'll go when i play it um if i hey. don't play it i guess i'm never attending hey and but, that's know, hopefully like... hopefully one day mr moran will find it in his heart to add steel city to his little list. yeah i mean he had us on the you know monsters of rock yeah. live yep and yeah we were kind of hoping that was going to segue into it and we did work on something with him at one point but we just never could nail it down to work for both parties so to speak and you know, where we thought it was possibly a negotiation was just kind of like, hey, guys, if you guys want that, want this, this is the deal. <laughs> and we're just like, OK, well, can we get A, B and C and D? And then it was just kind of like, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's how it goes. I don't know all the logistics that goes on, but I hear things and, you know, and that's here. Ah. This is the way it is. Uh, take it or leave it. And you know, he's he's awesome. Don't get me wrong. He's dealing with. Oh, Larry's great. Stuff. And he took a big chance yeah. on us with the on-air yeah. stuff. And same thing with Westbound. Yeah. And so, you know, hopefully we get that opportunity again. It yeah. was just, it when we talked to him about it, I think it was maybe three weeks before the cruise, you know, yeah, somebody just... canceled. And, there, you know, financially, it just, it was tough for us to accomplish kind of last minute, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. It was a. It was funny. I'll never forget doing that live stream show. So it's like they're like, okay, in three, two, and then they're like, oh shit, we're starting. I totally missed the start of the start of Hearts on Fire, which is our opening song. And I was like, oh I my didn't, gosh, this is bad. I didn't even notice. It actually came out really good though. Yeah, I noticed. I, I watched it again, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just bad. 
I know the guy that has the video. I'm gonna have to go back and check it out. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. yeah, and then and then my mic gave out probably about halfway through the set, so that was also you know. So I'm sitting there like ah, screaming and trying to sing, and yeah, there was nothing there. You did great. It sounded good. I mean, I thought the sounded really. <laughs> when I listen back to it, I'm I'm very happy with it because we oh, were. Oh, it's cool. Pretty, I loved know. it. Oh yeah, I loved it, man. Well, I mean, I think here's something did. too. You know, the guys from Kingdom Come were there that day rehearsing, and and we just lost oh, yeah. a member of them yesterday. So yeah. you know, yeah. John. So, Shout out to James yeah. Kotek and his family. I mean, yeah, that's those guys were there that day. Yeah, that's sad news. Yeah, yeah. I had, a, I had an I, opportunity to get him on the show one time, and I, yeah, I couldn't get it to work. He was always, you know, just doing his thing. It was like, okay, one day we'll get it to work. And man, when I heard that yesterday, because I, I know he's been, you know, people have reached out to me because people know I have been sober for a while and he was trying to get sober and then yeah. people reached out to me and said hey man can you you talk to him you know do you, yeah, i'd love to talk to him but it times didn't work out and i just when we lost him i was like damn you know it sucks it just but he's at peace that's all i yeah. mean he's not <laughs> battling anymore Chaz was really yeah. close to him. So yes, I, yeah, so I read his post today. Uh, yeah, I messaged enough. Chaz immediately. Chaz already knew, but I mean, he, he was really, you know, bumming about it. They yeah. had done, they played together a lot, so over the years. I, I, I read that. I'm like, wow, I didn't know, but you know, he had me tearing up reading his post. I was like, damn, yeah. man, it's like, you know, the dude had rock and roll yeah. forever tattooed on his back, and yeah. that's how, and he was, he was. Uh, the only one time that I see him. And that was Monsters of Rock, 1988, Three Rivers Stadium. Oh, yeah. Kingdom Come. And he absolutely, being a drummer, he absolutely crushed it, man. I was like, this guy is so fucking good. Yeah, he was insane. Yeah, he was really mm -hmm. good. And, you know, he, he did a lot of gigs with, like, Scorpions and Dio. And it just, this goes on and on. He was just a phenomenal drummer that didn't get a lot of credit. I mean. Yeah, you're right. You're right. He didn't. He didn't. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. Well, anything else you want to say, put out there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? As always, as always, man. <laughs> um, for me, I mean, Jason Jason might, uh, you know, have something else he wants to put out there. But for me, it's just the idea of thank you um, to everybody that supports Steel City. Uh, we're really, you know, we're really appreciative of all the, of all the kind things that people say about us. And uh, all the people that support the music and support the band, um, and the same goes for Love and Chains. Yeah, um, I agree. We're very for we're very fortunate that we you know um, that that we have people that support us. I'm very fortunate that I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be around all these great musicians who kind of have elevated me. Um, you know, because uh, I'm just dude. I'm a respiratory therapist who plays guitar. Um, oh. So, I mean, I, I just feel fortunate to be around all these great people, man. And uh, I just can't thank them all enough. Um, Mike, so, I mean, yeah, that, that's well said. But, I mean, meeting Mike for the first time, I got I to gotta tell you, I, gotta, I won't be lucky when I got a cold call from John Kivel and him. Great um, guy. Yeah. Love and Kivel. so, the Mr. Like Kivel? Mike, <clears throat> the thing I like about Mike was he was his yep. own influence instead of influenced by everybody else. That's what impressed me by Mike the most, you know. Um, real go getter and a great songwriter and a great guitar player in his own right. And wait to hear this album, and wait to hear the, the you know the new Love and Chains record too. I mean, the guitar playing is amazing. So, right. oh, thank you. Sure, it's just a pleasure uh, working with you. It's gotta be. as it as you man. you wouldn't be and, doing uh, it for so many years if you guys weren't having fun and you know if Mike or, yeah. Mike was a douchebag, you'd be like, come out. <laughs> Well, I, I am. So a you're not bag, a douchebag, you know. Mike. I, I, I'm Captain Douchebag. Captain Douchebag. <laughs> yes, but uh, you know, and <laughs> but then again, uh, you know, and also as I'm saying this, you know, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, a big shout out, uh, big shout out to uh, Ty Sims, and uh, you know, and Eric Johnson being part of our production team. Those guys Eric just Johnson's deliver. Fantastic. Every, Ty Sims is they fantastic. Yeah, they deliver. They deliver every time. And, um, you know, and also big shout out and a big thank you to, to John Kibble for actually 
taking a chance on me in the beginning. And I, I, you know, I can't say enough, you know, I can't say uh, enough thanks for that. I mean, I really, none of this happens unless, unless Kibble gives me a shot. So uh, I I owe the guy a debt for sure. Kibble's got an ear for good. I mean, he's got an ear for good bands, man. I mean, really? So it doesn't. He does. He does. He sends yeah. me a lot of stuff, and it's like, dude, where do you find these guys, man? It's like, <laughs> what do you think of this? Well, what do you you, you know what I'm going to think of it? I, I'm playing it every day, you know. He just, yeah. it, 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 he's got an ear. He's he's just a, he's a great guy too. I love him. Yep. Yeah, man. You got anything you want to share, Jason? No, I'm just excited about this new record. I mean, I, yes. yeah, I've got a lot going on. But, you know, our thing here today is to really, you know, promote these shows, promote the bands that are on it. But, you know, get this record out. Get it, you know, be heard by the public. Same thing with Love and Chains, um, yep. you know. And, you know, Westbound, too. Westbound just had a new single that dropped that, yep. that did really well. Don't so, stand you know, in my sunshine. Label now, a legendary oh. artist. So, you know, everything's moving upward and, and forward. And I'm just blessed to be a part of this, you know pardon the expression this whole rock and roll machine crazy train <laughs> yeah 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 it's part of your rock and roll fantasy right <laughs> that's right cool well if you guys if you can hang out because i gotta talk to you after this okay so yeah, no problem and again shout out to again a th- big thank you and a shout out to frontiers and everybody out there stay minty fresh that's it frontiers all right we're gonna leave with Another Steel City song. We started the show with I Cry. We're going to leave with Spotlight. Nice. It was so hard choosing two songs. I always do... Um, what the hell? Oh, it's down to one. Me. Down to one. Down. I always do Down to One because that is my absolute favorite song. And Mike knows it better be in the set list on July, uh, June, uh, January. Man, I'm messing it, up. It January is. January 23rd. It, 24th, is. it is. Just, it just remember. It better be in that set list. It is. Just remind Roy that I'll be playing the extended guitar solo at the end. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. He can go backstage and then it's that whatever. Hell yeah. 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 We'll get it. We'll, we'll make sure that song's there, man. Trust me. I wrote that song for my wife and it's my, probably my favorite part of the show playing that song. Hell yeah. Good. That oh. and Jace, Jason's bass odyssey. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh. It's coming. It's, uh, it's got a Spinal Tap influence, but, you know, it's going to get the job done. <laughs> just... Hell yeah, man. It kills. Yeah. Big ball. Damn, I should have played that song. Damn it. <laughs> All right. We'll do Spotlight. But thank you guys for being here. It's always a pleasure Thanks. to talk to you two. Always a pleasure to hang out with you two. Um, can't wait to see you in a couple weeks. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. And Likewise. Hang, hang out. All right. All right, man. Everybody, enjoy. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Um, next I week, see where my fingers are there. No love lost next Thursday. Oh, nice, Scott nice. Board. I think, Board, I, said hi. I think he's bringing the rest of the band with him. He's texting me today. He's like, Can I bring this guy? And I, hell yeah, I think they're going to their studio. This, that, the other thing. It's going to be a fun show. Scott Board, the rest of No Love Lost next week. And, um, all right, here's Steel City and Spotlight. All right, Later. man. Let's. So many years, but still time hasn't passed you by. Still the same as the day we met. Go, I see desire in your eyes. Tell you, baby.